You know what? I'm sick of this stupid beach. I'm sick of your stupid attitudes. I'm getting the flip out of here. Fucking 1,141 back. I'm gonna go teach some kids how to swim and then I'm gonna save their lives because I'm a really terrible teacher and they're gonna drown, but I'll be there to save them. That's how this works. I look good, they look stupid. I'm out of here. What? There's no, we're in like storage, aren't we? Oh, okay. Good morning. I think that the benefit of being out here is that we're in like way out past where actually the hotel is, but maybe we're not. Okay, anyways, we're up before the crack of dawn. Oh, it's dark. Thank you. And I gotta put together a really sketchy security system here. Hold on. Because we got the train to catch. Just gotta lock these shutters. <laughs> Because that's normal. Yeah, totally secure. And welcome to day one. We, oh, I can actually see Don starting to break now. Very, very lightly. Once we drop the keys off, we gotta hit the train because we're on our way from Calvi to Ajaccio this morning. We're gonna pick up Ricky, go to the market, maybe shave our heads. It's gonna be great. Boop. Uh-oh. Boop. What do we do with the keys? Well, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna leave them under the ash tray out here. No one will see them. Look at that. Oh, maybe they will. Dang it. Okay, I'm, you can stay here if you want. You're gonna leave me. Oh, <laughs> disappear. All right, I'm gonna hide these on the table, then I gotta send them a message on Airbnb. We're gonna jump on. The train, this is just a ridiculous way to start out the morning. Look how sketchy this is. Like, I'm going back to this dark, shady corner. Put this. Where am I gonna put him? There's nothing to hide him under, really. Ooh, that was spider webby. Oh. There we go, rock. I'm gonna have to let them know where I hit it. It's pretty obvious, but hopefully nobody unintended discovers that. All right, with that weird rocky but start to the morning. Let's get the flip out of here. Oh, speaking of being left, where'd Jenica go? There she is. Back to the tiny train station. Whew, gotta buy our tickets. I chopped the croissant? Sure. Want to do right and back. All right. I am on a croissant mission now. <laughs> we have 14 minutes before the train leaves. I think that's enough time to get a croissant. Jenica's going to go save seats. I have no idea where on the train, but um, she wanted a croissant and a pan of chocolate. I'm willing to take that risk and maybe I'll get one myself. Piece of cake. Also, if you haven't noticed, this train is super wobbly and really loud, so it makes it a little bit challenging to sleep. If you're a sensitive sleeper especially, I'm sure I've managed to catch a little bit. 
but it's been kind of a challenge to get back to sleep, unfortunately. That's my whole story. We'll get out at, uh, we do have to make one quick transfer. We have an eight minute transfer window coming up. It should be exciting. Not even exactly sure where that's gonna happen, so hopefully somebody says something and then uh, we'll be on our way south. Time to get out of here. Hopefully, Jenna, Jenna kid joins me here. There have been a lot of big changes in my life of recent memory. Wait a second, where do we go from here? There have been a lot of big changes in the last three years, some of which we've talked about already, one of which we haven't, which is that when I started vlogging, I still hadn't started shaving my head yet. That, it was definitely time to do that. And uh, now I don't have hair. I have hair, but I shave it off. Another one. How do I make my living? Three years ago, as we've talked about a little bit, I was launching a company and just deep in the hole and struggling. And this was purely a hobby. It was one that I hoped would become a profession, you know, but I thought that was a long shot, nothing else. And the fact that it's become a profession, the fact that I can even do this, like travel through Corsica, is all thanks to people like you. I feel like I'm like a PBS PSA here all of a sudden. Perfect, a JCO. We need to figure out how to get her to the airport later to pick up Ricky. He's getting in a lot later than I thought he was. Uh, also food, and yeah, we'll figure this out as we go. I know that I was, are we going to the farmer's market? Yeah. Do you know where it is? In the middle, right in the middle of everything. So. Okay, we're gonna, we'll try to get to the farmer's market here and then we gotta meet our Airbnb hosts at two o'clock and turn, uh, maybe take a nap. <laughs> One of the things that we've been talking about while we've been traveling this whole time has been how, when I first started doing this, I was working multiple jobs just to support myself and obviously then to get here and support myself in France. And how much that has changed, or how much my life has changed because that has changed. I really felt like the trees and the foliage in general just kind of uh, shifted significantly when we crossed over the mountains. It's nice, it's a nice change. It's again pretty hot, it was nice and cool up in the mountains. It's not as hot here as it was Yesterday, I feel like. Maybe it is drier, yeah. It also helps that it's only 11 in the morning. We'll see how this goes. Kind of the conversation we were having earlier was around how, thankfully, I had the energy to, I don't know how, to dive into my vlog and to really stick with it in the midst of holding down multiple jobs, like small jobs, big jobs, contract stuff, or regular employment, and how fortunate I am that things have shifted as I've grown and as the vlog has improved. Like, there's, I think, a lot of the big improvements and I think a lot of the really positive shifts have been because I've been able to steadily drop that over time and had an increasing budget for travel and for some equipment and things like that as Patreon in particular grew. And that has been a huge, huge boon and just life-changing as people have supported me in multiple ways, but logistically and you know, just like technically among, uh, uh, maybe above all today. Also there was a guy in a chicken hat buck, buck bucking at us and that was really distracting for a second. <laughs> Okay, but before we walk for the next 15 minutes to get to the uh, farmer's market, coffee. We haven't had any of that yet today. I forgot that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my function. Cafe Tonic. Have you ever had that? No. Oh, we definitely scored with this place. This is great. Look at all these different coffee filtration systems. So it turns out, Jasio has a spot. It's called Carpe Diem. I got a cold brew. Oh, and I'm really ready for it. Mmm. That's 
really tangy. I need two rounds of coffee here. That was not, the cold brew was really good. The, the tonic, it was delicious, but uh, whew. This should perk me up. I am sluggish as all get out here. In starting out when I first was, I, I struggled for a long time. The first year of my vlog, I didn't even, I made 378 videos, I think, and I, or 376. I don't remember how many it was, 378. We're just gonna pretend that's the number. And I didn't even cross a thousand subscribers during that entire period that I made a video every day. And I really appreciated every single person that subscribed and all the views that I got, but it was definitely a struggle. And one of the big changes that came was when my Patreon started to grow right towards the end or at the beginning of the, the, the next season. And I decided that I, I needed to make a real effort to make sure that my Patreon continued to grow because, well, for one, obviously, it makes it a lot easier to live the lifestyle that I'm trying to live as far as making videos for a living, being able to go out and explore and share that with you. But also what, what really motivated me was that as people started to support me through Patreon, it felt that much more validating. The fact that there were people out there that were willing to put money down, that they believed in what I was doing and they wanted to support it with their hard earned dollars was just, it was, it was shocking in the best way possible. It was validating, it was motivating. It was one of those things that, I don't know, every time somebody joined Patreon, Every, every time someone joins Patreon, it's like a little little shock to the heart in just such a great way that, I'm not saying that without that, I wouldn't have been able to keep going, but basically without that, I wouldn't have been able to keep going if it wasn't for Patreon, both financially, but also just for that emotional support and validation from people outside myself, people outside my circles that wanted to support me and keep my vlog alive. It was massively important. It's life-changing. Well, that was great. Thanks, Tatiana, for all that. Our barista's name is Tatiana, and she gave us a lot of really good advice because the market's already closed. So we're going to go see that with Ricky tomorrow. Also, not going to wait for Ricky to cut my hair. I think I'll do that this afternoon. She gave me some ideas for that. Although I'm not really sure. Did she write that down? She's right, She's over, right there. over there. Okay, yeah. hopefully it's over there. Yeah. So we're going to go see Napoleon's house now because this is where Napoleon's from. And then wander over to our Airbnb because we're meeting them in about 50 minutes. Drop our stuff off and then go get lunch, which we're gonna go to an Italian place she told us about because it made her squeal with joy just to hear the name. Doesn't so take much. <laughs> That's just because you're such a joyful person. What can we say? Yeah. Okay, let's roll. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Sorry. that's okay. So the market teardown is well underway, but we know where to come tomorrow. And you said that the Napoleon's house is near here? Yeah, it's just a block Just over here? Okay, we're gonna go to Napoleon's house and then off to the Airbnb. And then tomorrow, market time. Do you have more to... That's a banana tree. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> All right, Napoleon's house. She's already been inside once before and we don't have time to go in. You've never been I've never in? Never been inside. I'm sure his hat's still in there, at least one of his hats. We're gonna go, we gotta go meet our Airbnb host, but it's really cool to be right in front of the house Napoleon was born here. It's his childhood home. His childhood home. Not bad. That's bad. not bad at all. We're gonna wander out of here, but these kinds of things, like coming here, being able to see this stuff, as much as like it's obviously a very compact trip and uh, there's so much to see and do, but the ability to come and do this is thanks to so many of you, and I'm so grateful for that. And I wanted to take time out of this week of the vlog to highlight the fact that so many of you have been so generous and so helpful, and just the fact that you believe in what I'm doing to the level that you would back me and support me and help me to grow what is becoming a larger project and a larger business and able to continue to hopefully go out and do more of this kind of stuff because spoiler alert I have plans to use French Fridays to go do a little bit of exploration in the future as well thoughts at least so it's made a huge difference and for those of you that are here thank you so much for those of you that are thinking about becoming patrons if you want to become a patron I realize it might seem a little bit odd to become a patron right when I'm about to go on my first vacation in like forever but it's gonna to go to a good cause we're gonna do a lot of really fun stuff I cannot wait 
definitely think about it. I'm sweating like crazy now that we've stopped. How, why is that always? You always sweat more, it feels like, when you stop. Okay, we're gonna get moving and, uh, and go meet our Airbnb host. But something else I've talked about with all of that is that there's this incredible release. I've heard recently in the comments, those of you that are going back and watching from the beginning or watching older vlogs, just seeing the stress be removed from my face and the how much I've changed physically and emotionally, it's kind of interesting to hear because I definitely feel like that's the case and it's coming along. But I saw it happen in small ways along the way and, and in other ways, I think it just hit me where I was like, oh my goodness, I can just do this, this is my job and I'll be okay. Things like that were among the most incredible and freeing moments of my life. I only wish we could all be focused on doing things that we love and be able to support ourselves doing it. And I'm so grateful that I can count myself among those people. Very, very lucky. Also, look at these flowers. Also, Jenica's lost. Sorry, did we, did we miss a right? No, we're gonna okay. turn right here. Which flowers? <laughs> Those flowers. We just got into our Airbnb, it is amazing. I'll show you at the very end of the video or tomorrow morning, depending on how much time we've got left. But for right now, we need lunch. It's like 2.30 or three o'clock. We haven't eaten anything more than a couple of uh, pastries and I did have half a quiche this morning that I had the other half last night. So, oh, and you had a ton of yogurt. Okay, four yogurts, <laughs> little, little pops. Waste okay. not, want not, as one of our grandparents I'm sure said at one point or another. So, what we're gonna do now is uh, walk back into that Italian place that she wanted to hit I'm gonna get my head shaved so I'm ready for the rentrée to Paris and um, just get a couple of shots of a Jacio. I have a feeling, or a Jacio, a Jacio, a Jacio. I'm, I'm not gonna pronounce it properly, apparently. But yeah, we're gonna go have lunch and bop around. Uh, she'll end up having to go get uh, Ricky, which will take her a while, and I have a bunch of work that I wanna get done this evening because I realized how far behind on emails and everything else I was last night. I had to stay up really late uploading because the upload speeds at the hotel were so terrible that like I, I had to leave our apartment and go out and sit in front of the hotel itself just to get it to work, and it still took about an hour and a half, I think, in total. So, gonna make sure that doesn't happen again today and get everything done nice and early so we can get some real sleep, and then tomorrow, another big day. That's all I got to say about that. So let's go get some Italian food. <laughs> And of course my patrons voted for me to have, uh, what was it, the uh, chestnut liquor? The chestnut liqueur that's local to the area? This place doesn't have it. I was gonna have it here, so I'll have to find it later. I mean, when Ricky gets here, we should go out for a drink anyways. Oh, also, they'll give you samples of it at the farmer's market. Oh. We'll get it one way or another, the chestnut liqueur. For those of you that are wondering what's going on, my patrons get to vote on random stuff that I do, which we're gonna be changing up a little bit in the near future, and I'm looking forward to figuring out all of that. But in the meantime, uh, they voted for me to have this liqueur of all the local specialties that I could try. That was the winner. So apparently not with lunch, but this is kind of more like a liner at this point. Well, you know, my entire internal clock is so messed up right now. Yeah, six, five, five, what time will we get up? Five, five, five got up at 5.20. <laughs> Microphone is off. <laughs> Jenica has been on the hunt for the, the tiramisu this entire time, and this is this this ranks high. How high? It is up to my standards. <laughs> it's as good as my own. Let's get let's, this, 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 this has got to go. And if you're like, what has got to go? I'm talking about the sides, but a little bit at the top, but yeah. Don't pick on me. Except he said it's gonna be an hour and a half wait, an hour and a half to two hours, and he doesn't take appointments. So basically I'd have to sit in there for the next two hours. That's not gonna happen, so. We'll just wander around and I'll uh, return to Paris with a little more hair than I intended. We're, uh... Pick up my razors and do both your heads tonight. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, that was good. Turns out that it's an Italian guy who just moved here from Paris that's running that place, so it was cool to talk a little bit. We're gonna go do a mini bit of grocery shopping here before uh, the Ricky run, and then I'll come back at you with some delicious liquor, thanks to my patrons. You 
might notice that it's a little bit dark outside. The lighting is a little bit harsh in here at the moment. That's because we've been waiting for Ricky to show up and unfortunately his flight got delayed. I think multiple times. There have been no clear answers. Jenica went to the airport. She's waiting for him there. We don't know when he's going to arrive. We don't even know if his flight's taken off. I think it's taken off now. Theoretically, he should still get here around 930. Not sure that's going to happen. Anyway, I was hoping to share the liquor with him. I'm going to hold on to that for tomorrow. We can have that tomorrow in the farmer's market. We're going to get that. So, and for those of you that are like, what? There's another video tomorrow? Of course there's another video tomorrow. I can't just stop here. I got to have a full season plus one because that's the kind of crazy I am. So one more episode day zero tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a wonderful time here in Corsica. I know we did. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, just a regular old day in the neighborhood. See for that. What is it? Gracie with the response? Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui, bien sûr. Moi, moi, oui. Elle, pas vrai. Ouais, elle, oui aussi, ouais. Comment vous avez entendu anglais, c'est ça? Oui. On peut parler en anglais si vous voulez. Uh, yes. Uh... You want to practice? <laughs>